in the sense if you look at our vote share if you look at our numbers uh, in terms of seats we won and uh, i am more interested in the second place finish because as a party when you stand alone many places we have lost very closely there, there is a place where we lost uh, 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 municipality and then uh, uh, the winner was decided by a toss because there was a tie so all sorts of things we have seen today and combinedly if you take the vote share combinedly if you look at because congress party and dmk is a 13 party alliance the 13 parties together this is bjp alone so rightfully so bjp is the third largest party in tamil nadu without a doubt bjp is now the third largest party in tamil nadu claimed annamalai a former ips officer and the state president of bjp in a press meet on february 22 he was talking to the press when the counting of the votes of the urban local bodies were in progress. Anamalai made tall claims of the results and boasted about the unprecedented victory of the party. The major claim of the state leadership was that the party has become the third largest force in the state by making huge inroads in several districts. The claims were amplified by the social media activists of the BJP and even by the national level leaders. Several national leaders of the BJP also endorsed the claims of the state unit with even false numbers. The National General Secretary of the party, B.L. Sandosh, tweeted, We have made a mark, 51% candidates and 323 councillors, 5.61% votes. Neither did the party had fielded 51% candidates or did win 323 councillors. The claims or fabricated or false. News click analyzes the claims and the position of the BJP in the election. It is in fact the Congress which had won more number of votes than the BJP in these elections. As part of the Secular Progressive Alliance, the Congress fielded candidates in 1,370 seats and emerged victorious in 592. Contesting alone, the BJP was able to field candidates for only 5,594 wards out of the total 12,838 wards and won only 308 wards. It is true that there is a slight increase in the number of wards won by the BJP, but the party has suffered humiliating defeats in several districts with no representation in 10 districts. The BJP has won 22 of the 1,373 municipal corporation wards a mere 56 of the 3,842 municipality wards and 230 of the 7,603 town panchayat wards which went for polls. The numbers are boosted by the performance of the party in Kanyakumari district from where it won 200 wards. The party had secured victories in 11 corporation wards, 21 municipality wards and 168 town panchayat wards in Kanyakumari district alone. The party since the late 1990s has successfully created a polarization in the district with a 50% minority population and consolidated on the Hindu vote pack. Though the number of wards has increased in Kanyakumari, the party has lost out on winning a simple majority to win the post of chairpersons in the local bodies, which it managed to win in 2011. The party had one municipal chairperson and 13 town panchayat presidents in Kanyakumari, which has now been reduced to zero and four respectively. The high claims of the BJP on becoming the third largest party stood exposed, not only on the number of seats it managed to win, but its inability to field candidates in all the wards which went for polls. The party was unable to put up candidates in 54% of the municipality wards, 64% of the town panchayat wards and 17.5% in the corporation wards. The performance of the BJP in highly urbanized city like Chennai and its stronghold Coimbatore has come under scrutiny. The party had high hopes for the Greater Chennai Corporation and Coimbatore City Municipal Corporation. Though the BJP managed to win a loaned councillor in Greater Chennai Corporation, it drew a blank in Coimbatore. A similar performance was reported from Tirnalveli as well. In Coimbatore and Tirnalveli districts, where the corporations are incorporated, the party has representatives in the assembly. The party had been high hopes 
in Coimbatore particularly, but most of his candidates, 85 out of 97, lost deposits. A similar outcome is reported from GCC as well. The party candidates failed to secure the deposit in 56 of the 60 wards in Trichy Corporation as well. The BJP will be represented by its councillors only in 11 of the 21 total corporations and it has only one representative in 9 of these 11 corporations. The tall claims of the BJP on becoming the third largest force in the state are not supported by the numbers. The party has boasted its victory to present itself as a huge force but has a long distance to travel even to field candidates in all the wards of the urban local bodies.